Hello there is welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is HBM Organic Beauty. So in case this is your first time coming across me, you're welcome here. Please consider subscribing. On this channel, I make videos about skincare. I talk about skincare. I, I talk about herbs. And in case you want to learn how to make skincare products, you want to learn how you can make effective and stable skincare products, please send us a message to the number you're seeing up there on the screen without wasting much time today yeah it's been a long time i wanted to do this video but i think the day has come so you guys should just sit down relax and listen at the end of the day you'll be able to make the right choice based on what i'm about to say here today so i want to talk about sunscreen like i've sampled various sunscreen especially while i was pregnant i sampled um, some sunscreen and I got to know more about this sunscreen the feel how they feel on skin How they work how good they are Trust me if you're applying skincare product any skincare product you need sunscreen whether you're dark whether you're fair You need a sunscreen. You're not exempted from sunscreen. Yeah, I'm gonna be dropping a video up there for you to actually see the power of you having sunscreen. So let's just watch this video. Can you see what you not wearing sunscreen is doing to your skin? So we all should adapt to this habit of sunscreen application in 2023. If you know you want to achieve a flawless skin this year, you know you have a skin goal this year, then the first place you should start from is by investing using good sunscreen. It's not like when you buy uh, one sunscreen like this one. This is the one I use, okay? So it's not like when you buy one sunscreen like this, this little thing that is just about 50 mil and you use it for two years no you don't use sunscreen like that if you're using your sunscreen the way you're supposed then this sunscreen is not even supposed to last up to up to three months or yeah it's not supposed to last up to three months so i would advise you to cultivate the habit of sunscreen i do so many diys on this video at times i do so many of whitening product lightening product and trust me if you're using this product and you're not applying sunscreen you may be doing yourself more harm than good if you're applying lightening product you're not uh, shielding yourself from the uv rays of the sun you are doing yourself more harm than good so whether you're dark whether you're fair whether you're going out under the sun or you're not going out please you need to apply sunscreen because just apply sunscreen daily because you can be in your room and the uv rays of the sun will get to you yes you can get hyperpigmentation from your cooking in the kitchen due to it you can get hyperpigmentation due to you using hot water on your face so that is why when you want to bathe for those of you bathing with hot water before I got to know about all this. I use, if I'm better with hot water, I use extremely hot water. But when I got to realize that hot water, hot water causes hyperpigmentation, then I just bathe with, with warm water. Yeah. So anytime you want to bathe or you want to bathe your kids, please use warm water, not hot water, because the hot water will be burning your skin and it's not okay for your skin. At the end of the day, you're going to give yourself hyperpigmentation. So a lot of skin habits that we have to stop in 2023 if you know you have a skin goal this year hot water cancel apply your sunscreen daily do not buy a sunscreen of 50 mil and you apply for two years that means you're not using your sunscreen as you're supposed to that means it's better for you to even not to buy because you've just wasted your money by applying a 50 mil sunscreen for a whole two years then how is it going to work so there are some concepts you should understand about sunscreen. We have sunscreens that are in different dimensions, like it comes in different dimensions. The SPF 30, the SPF 50. So whether you're dark, whether you're fair, whether you're going out, just apply daily. Daily. Now we have various types of sunscreen in the market and I will actually be talking about those ones I have used. Yeah, those ones I have used are the ones I will come and talk about here so let's talk about this sunscreen that i actually want to review today so the first sunscreen i'll be talking about which i love 
like i love this sunscreen so much so much it's it's called misha this is how it is i'm trying to focus okay can you see misha 50 spf 50 this is how it is it used to come in an old pack before um i'll be showing you the old packs in case you get to see the old pack in the market because most people can still have the old stock on shelf so in case uh you want to buy yes we also sell this sunscreen in case you want to buy we also sell and you can equally see it in other places but we sell also and make sure you're getting the right sunscreen okay so um this is how it is um aqua spf 50 misha all right so um it's also the one i'm using this is it it is what i'm using so this sunscreen is very very superb and i will be doing some sample tests for you guys uh first of all let me pack my air so i'm going to be applying this misha sunscreen so that you can see the way it is like how um it enters the skin immediately and becomes so invisible So I'm going to be doing this on one part of my face. Just one part of my face, like. So stop managing your sunscreen. This is how I jam pack sunscreen on my skin. Okay, I apply this on my face and that work it into and work it downwards to my neck. Okay. So anytime I'm applying sunscreen, I make sure I apply on my eyelid, then on my lips. Because, you know, your lips also darkens. Yeah, your lips can get hyperpigmented or can get hyperpigmentation, okay? So you can see how this is actually disappearing. So just, just work it into your face. Okay, can you see? Can you see the magic? Can you see? And one thing with this particular sunscreen, this Misha, why I love this Misha. So, why I love this Misha is that um, I notice it, it is very, very good for oily skin. Yeah, oily skin. They have two types. They have SPF 45. The SPF 45 is very good for people that have dry skin, sensitive skin. Um, dry skin, I mean. But if you have this oily skin, normal skin, please, you can use the SPF 50. That, uh, SPF 50. So this is very, very lightweight. Like, it's not too oily. I like the feel. It feels so nice on the skin so you can see um you guys should just pardon me you know i just had i just put to bed so my hormones are going back to normal gradually and i'm beginning to break out you already know that i'm the acneic kind of person okay so don't mind this okay so i want you to compare here and here this place looks more glowing more moisturized like one thing with this misha it is very very good it is moisturizing it even keeps your face glowing trust me i'm not hyping this because I, I i was paid to do that no i'm just hyping the sunscreen because i love the sunscreen like i love and love and love the sunscreen so on my body there's a particular sunscreen i love to apply on my body i like to use this sunscreen it's called altrist sunscreen it is also spf 50 spf 50 this is actually a spray sunscreen okay this is actually a spray so what i do is that after um working in my sunscreen on my face of course i don't i don't want to apply misha on my body but yes you can actually apply uh, this sunscreen on those parts you want to protect but i don't like to apply it on my body okay i, I feel like i'm wasting it so what i do is that uh when going out 30 minutes after applying your skincare product is when you should apply your sunscreen whether on your face or on your body so what i'm what i do is that this is actually a spray so you can put this in your bag you can spray this at any time you can use this on your face also but i just i'm just 
I'm just used to Misha, okay? I'm just used to read. So it, it's just a culture for me now or a habit. I am used to read, but you can actually use only one sunscreen. So you can just get this. So if it is the ultra spray sunscreen that you want to get or you want to get the Misha sunscreen, whichever one you want to get, yes, you can get them. So what I do is that after applying Misha on my face, I go on and spray this, okay, on my body like this okay i just walk it in i just walk it in <coughs> excuse me on those part of my body that are exposed so what i do is that i try to massage so i notice this is a bit oilier than the misha okay this has a little bit of oil it's more uh, oily or it has this uh, more greasy effects more than misha and i don't like applying uh, things that cosmetics and i don't like applying cosmetics that are poorly on my skin though it's not too bad so i guess if you have a dry skin like this will be nice for you so after spraying the first round okay you have to spray this a lot do not start managing you spray again okay you can decide to leave it on to dry but for me this is what i do so i'm just showing you the way i use it okay you just you know can you see this um, greasy, oily effect? Can you see it? Can you see? Can you see the um, oily effect? So I wouldn't like my face to be like this. Can you see? So this is this actually keeps your skin glowing. Can you see? So anytime I apply, I spray the sunscreen. Like it's just as if I apply the glow oil on my skin. Can you see how oily it is? So uh, for me, cause I'm the acrylic skin acne kind of person i break out easily i don't like to apply this on my face but on my body yes i apply this on my body so yes this is also my good to go one of my good good sunscreen spray and because it is a spray it's i love the fact that it is a spray because this is always in my bag so easy to apply so another sunscreen i'll be talking about is that is a sunscreen that is very very popular like i see this sunscreen selling out in fact the way people buy this sunscreen from us is just like it's also one of the best seller apart from misha this one i'm about to talk about is also one of the best seller and i'm sure you will be used to it i'm talking of the skin aqua spf 35 they have spf uh, 50 but this one is spf 35 like can you see skin aqua spf 35 SPF 35 skin aqua so this particular one i will open this one is actually part of what we sell but i'll open this one so yeah you can use this one for your children as long as they are more than three years please do not gonna apply this on your newborns so on this other part i applied my misha right so on this other part i hope my camera is focusing focusing so i'll be applying my skin aqua like i love the skin aqua too i love it i love the mild fragrance oh my god the mild fragrance is killing me let's go on and apply this so one thing with um this one is that this one is very very light in fact this is lighter than misha okay this is lighter than misha very 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 light it's it absorbs very very fast it has a hyaluronic acid and it has this mental feeling kind of yeah mental feeling kind of when you apply you're going to have this mental feeling effect so this actually looks like a gel it looks more jelly to compare to misha misha look more creamy and this one looks jelly and um, kind of watery can you see so can you see it looks kind of watery so i use the skin aqua for my kids they use skin aqua and i like the way skin aqua to fuse on the skin it absorbs easily and faster they are both moisturizing i cannot really see difference they are both moisturizing yeah 
they are both moisturizing so if you want to use sunscreen please use good sunscreen use good sunscreen do not go and buy sunscreen of 1500 naira. those fake sunscreen we have a lot of fake sunscreen that will leave white cast those ones they don't leave white cast like you can see are you seeing any white cast no white cast no white cast can you see everything is just um so invisible no white cast yeah so this is why i love to use the sunscreen okay so these three sunscreens are all sunscreens i have in my house currently that i'm using my kid uses this i use this the misha and i use this the altruist sunscreen spray and that is what i'm using currently like i said today i'll be talking based on the one i've used and i've told you the difference um the misha and the skin aqua they are very lightweight i'll recommend this for somebody that have um acneic skin a skin like my type um um normal skin but if you have a dry skin then i know misha has the one for dry skin it, the one for dry skin is actually spf 45 for misha so if you have a dry skin and uh, that means you need something that is a little bit uh oily that will be highly moisturizing because the misha uh, spf 45 is it is oilier or is highly moisturizing than the misha spf 50 that i'm using and this also yes i will recommend this too for um, somebody that is that is having extremely dry skin because trust me it is highly moisturizing than misha and skin aqua so why not get any of the sunscreen give it a trial we have the sunscreen available so you can even go to our website at www.hbmorganibeauty.com to go and uh, shop for this sunscreen yes so i hope i've been able to do the review about the sunscreen and also sample it and you guys are able to see the sunscreen on my face you see the way it is on my face it does not leave white cast and like you've seen it enters the skin it is lightweight it is not heavy it is, it is not oily it is very very okay for the face and yes if you have um, um acneic skin um this sunscreen is good because they are not just ordinary um sunscreen which contains zinc oxide or titanium dioxide they contain a lot of, a lot more of um, botanical extract plant extracts that actually helps the skin um, some of this sunscreen contains hyaluronic acid that is good to for anti-aging hydrating the skin for you know wrinkles and all that so I don't want to say much yeah I felt or oh, I feel like this video is long already so thank you so much and I'm going to see you in my next video bye